friends now i'm going to explain ca number 6 so that is what develop dynamic web application to display current system date and time using the servlets now we are using the servlet concepts so these period is what we use such so, as so simple java application we use now onwards we will working with the servlets right so now whenever we are using with the servlet so that obviously we will work with the web application so web application sense it should be dynamic and it has to work through the web browsers or through the web browsers so as soon as when i run the java program the browser has to open from the browser we have to perform the action so this period is so whenever we run the program the console output will come so there by entering the input in the values we are performing the operation but now through the web pages we have to perform the operation so that is the program the first servlet program is develop the dynamic web page to display current system date time using the servlet means so using the program we have to display the what is the current uh, time and uh, date of the system which is recorded in, in our system so for that so first carefully we have to open the web page and we have to uh, add the we have to give the connectivity so before that just i'll explain the program then i'll go to the and it means how to open the so first we have to uh, take care of the html page html page in the sense as soon as you open the application by default the index page will be there so in the index page this is the code pseudo code will be there so this is the pseudo code which is already available that is what starting from doc type to uh, till uh, i hope it's visible so doc, uh, starting from doc type to till end of the html so these slides so here so these are the predefined information no need to change anything so just here in the body inside the body you add the form information that form information is what so i am adding the servlet name as a ca ca a6 servlet and uh, method equals get and input type submit value click to get the today's date means here so uh, here what i'm doing i'm creating a one single button on the web page once i click that button it has to view the it has to show the date and time of the uh, respective system so this is the two lines which we have to the existing html page so that i will show nothing else just everything is a pretty fun code these three lines you add form action and a input type and in the form tag so next i'll come to the java code in the java code in the java code i'm creating the package p1 the default package and i'm importing java io input output with the all sub classes and java utility date because i want to get the date information so i am uh, accessing the date class and java x active x control i am using so java x servlet dot asterisk so all the classes which is there in the servlet so everything i am importing and here java x servlet dot http dot asterisk so here http dot means which is uh, uh, now i am invoking in the servlet obviously it has to uh, can uh, connect with the web interfaces so to interact with the web interfaces we required http protocols to connect with the http protocols i am using this http class here so next in the uh, class my class name is ca6 servlet here what are the class name we are giving that exactly match with the action action which is available in the form tag that is what ca6 servlet this is the important point and inside that uh, we have the plenty of code you just omit that i will show that just uh, you just what to do you just from here to here you copy paste the code in the servlet page in the servlet page so here function which i am adding public void do get do get is one of the method which i am using from the servlet so http request rick is one of the parameter i am using for the request class and http servlet response res is the one of the object we are creating for the so uh, servlet response classes then throw save exception comma servlet exception if any uh, exception occurs that is handled by the save exception and any kind of servlet uh, exception comes it will handled by the servlet exception now inside this respective method res what is res this is the object which we created here res dot set content type so whenever i am executing this java program it has to uh, bring some type of content so that what is that content text slash html now what i am doing i am using the web interfaces so that is what in the form of html so there i am using the html ports here this is the html ports so this respect to html content i am importing in my java that is what in this it's in the form of text and it's a form of html then i am using print writer is the class for the print writer class i am creating an object called out equals res res is the response this is what the object is created res dot get writer get writer so what are the content it is added to the servlet program from that it is uh, getting the writer method writer method means get writer means whatever the date available 
from the system so once it fetch it so that it will write in the browser so to write that one i am using the writer method which is assigned uh, to the object called res that is what the response object here response object here so that entire information i am binding to the out variable I'm binding to the out variable so i am binding to the out variable so here next i am using the date class date date is the object equals new date so whatever the date is there so date function using so the date will assign to the variable called dt now out dot print line today's date dt dt dot two string dt dot two string why i am taking this two string method because whatever the date i am getting it's in the form of numerical so obviously so to make it in the string format so exact information i am getting uh, converting to the two string method so that is what dt what is the date i am getting so that date i am converting to the two string method here so this is the code which we have to use now i'll go to the uh, coding part i'll show how to do this one so first go to file in that select new project so here you carefully select java web java web you select don't don't select java select the java web java web in that java web application from java web to the java uh, sorry web application then next you give the web application name that is what cia uh, 6 saru uh, saru let 1 saru let 1 because I already created for river uh, uh, execution purpose i am taking one more name ca saru let 1 uh, my project name so just next so here the glassfish server should be enabled by uh, whenever you're installing and it means by default the glassfish server also will last to installation yes you install so automatically it will select the whichever the glassfish server version you have and it is a uh, java uh, enterprise edition version you have that is what java uh, double e seven six five version so by default whatever the version selected you leave as it is then you next next finish so this is the steps uh, carefully you have to do it so first you go to my project under that uh, then java web then java web application so then here my program is java servlet one so these are in the left hand side in the you are getting all this information so here what you have to do this is the code which i am getting this is the code which i am getting so here you just remove that division so you just add whatever the code i provided to you guys that is what uh, form inside the body inside the body just copy paste save form action csr let one csr because my spag project name is csr let one so here also means ca6 or let one this is the important so now uh, next step is come to source packages so, so come to source package left side here right click new servlet add servlet so whenever you are adding the servlet you have to provide the servlet name so what is the servlet name cia 6 uh, servlet servlet 1 servlet 1 cia 6 servlet 1 servlet 1 this is my servlet name which i am giving and uh, project also and package also no problem we just go to next next here so if you want you can give the package name also package name nothing is here you can make it whatever the name you want like p2 otherwise default package it will take so press next see this is the information so you have to check this checkbox it is what add information to deploy the descriptor web.xml so because whenever you are running the servlet the web.xml file is very very important here the configuration will take place between the html file and servlet file so you have to enable this checkbox then finish it then finish it so once you finish you will get the servlet code see here cia6 servlet one dot java it's in the name of java only package p2 it's created out of package name and there's a predefined code which i have this is a predefined code which i have so here i don't want all these things i don't want all these things so just i'll delete it Here I have to add the code. Here I have to add the code. So what I have to add? See, response dot set content type is already there, and the uh, protected void process request. So all these things are there. So sometimes it will lead to your confusion. You just what to do? Come to the program, 
from here after the class you copy the code and paste here okay student so this is the code which i copied uh, from that uh, pdf file and drop paste it so here the main thing is cia6 alert on whatever the class name you are taking that should be the proper action name that is what cia6 alert 1 so now what i will do just i'll run the program so once i run so the uh, console will run so immediately it will open the web browser so once the web browser is open see the button which i created so click to get the today's days so when i click this the this is the current time date according to the uh, our system time it will display so like this we have to display the time and date from the uh, in the respective browser by opening the button so this is the program which we have to execute in the coming map thank you